through the years, have you kept in touch with people I know? I had It's to, been a long time. Yeah, I had, I, mean, I had for a while. Yeah. I, I do still keep in touch with some of the people mm -hmm. uh, behind the camera. Um, I've dealt with, talked to you know, some of the crew members and things of that nature. Um, the cast, I stayed in touch with them for a little while mm -hmm. and then, you know, just time goes yeah. by. And, um, <laughs> but uh, um, everybody, last time I talked to them, as a matter of fact, was, I guess, probably almost 10 years ago. I <laughs> talked to uh, Amy and uh, Jared. And, um, you know, they've gone in different directions in their life. Jared's a musician, yeah. and, and uh, Amy <laughs> is actually a circus performer. Um, Rick has sort of taken a back seat to yeah. his career, and mm -hmm. um, I know that they had some tragedy in his life. Yeah, he lost it's... his wife, and he's sort of did the thing that no, I would probably very do too. Admirable is thing. He raised his family, <laughs> he raised his kids, and walked away from it. Now, I want to know what it was like when the movie first came out. I mean, it, it ended up being a pretty big success. I think people were surprised by how well it did. Myself included. <laughs> yeah. Was, uh, yeah. I mean, when you're doing a film, you really don't have any idea how big it's going to be or, or not. I mean, I knew it was going to be pretty big. I mean, it was a pretty big production when yeah. we were filming it. And, um, but um, when it was, really, when I saw the premiere of it and uh, the, just the magnitude of it, when they put everything together, um, I was, uh, <laughs> pretty overwhelmed myself. I, I remember sitting in the theater, with, we premiered it at uh, Disney World. Okay. And they had a pretty big premiere of the thing and everything. And uh, I remember watching it and afterwards, there was a part of me that didn't want to stand up and turn around because <laughs> I knew everybody was behind me in the theater. Yeah. So I kind of just uh, was able to sneak out just quietly. I remember going to the bathroom and uh, everybody, it was just like overwhelming. Just in that short time there in the bathroom and coming out and everybody and I was just like, Oh man, this is going to be a little bit overwhelming. I'm kind of a private person, anyway, yeah. so it was definitely a, a little game changer for me in my life. And then were there fans all over the place after the film came there out? There was a lot of fans, <laughs> and um, yes, there was a lot of that. And now, the, you know, I mean, back then it wasn't the world that we have fans now yeah. because you know, obviously the internet wasn't even around and stuff like that. So there was there was a disconnect, but you could disconnect yourself from yeah. the, the, the public eye if you wanted if to you a lot wanted easier it. than you can nowadays. So, <laughs> and I kind of chose that path a little bit. I kind yeah. of snuck away. And <laughs> it's so funny because I still get, you know, oh my God, you were so cute. <laughs> Work. Yeah, I know, I know. That's, that's all I'm hearing is I'm thinking, wait a minute, what happened? <laughs> no, um, but you know, I mean, it's just, it's kind of fun. I took, the, I took the approach of, I didn't want to become too successful as a young actor. Yeah. Um, which, so I didn't do a lot of interviews. I wouldn't do um, team magazines. I didn't do, mm -hmm. I actually kind of stayed in the back That's thinking smart. if I just stay reserved, by the time I you know, become adult, I'll be not so saturated and sort of like that, um, you know, and, and good or bad, I don't know how it turned out. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, you still get to a point where you, when you become older, obviously there's so many more other actors out there available and you know, the competition and the, just the, the true nature and then the life choices you make and mm -hmm. you know, one of the choices I made early on is I wanted to have a family and yeah. be with my family and that was a big priority to me. Um, but um, you know, but if people say, well, do you still act or are you still in the industry? And I, and I laugh because it's like, you, I've never not been in part of it. It's been, yeah. I'm, I'm, now I've been acting for almost 30 years and it, you know, and so it's, and even before then I was acting. Because you started so, before yeah, then. Silverado, yeah, I mean, this was, I was already, you know, been doing it for four or five years as, as, as a, making a living doing yeah. it before I did this. So, so it's kind of funny to me. I'm like, well, I kind of realize that there's no, I'll always be a part of that. You know, it's always, it's just about uh, magnitude and how much I'm doing it and how involved I am on a project or something like that. And, and then how the recognizability from, for the audience, you know, the people from the audience seeing me here. Um, but, uh, but it's kind of neat because I'm at an age in my life where I'm, I feel better than I ever felt. I'm confident. I, you know, I'm, I'm at an age where I kind of feel that I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm, I'm also confident that I can take projects on, and I know what I'm doing, and I've got good stories. So I'm moving forward. So I look forward for the next 20, 30 years of my life. So.